Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saik and today we're continuing the legendary line playthrough with uh, Grandmaster mode enabled. Time to get a requisition. Matter of fact, time to get five requisitions because we're going to do the glorious deed and on top of it eliminate all of the seed carriers. And we're doing it with exactly the same team as before. We're having a blast at the moment really good teleport in kill everything type of strategy as for the stratagems i like the strengths of the spirit gate of infinity is good mm. this will not affect not uh, activated characters i think we're just going with quicksilver for once and giving it a go let's rock Detect these seeds so often in the ruins of our great ecclesiarchy. It is the plague lord mocking us, Purifier. He mocks the edifice of our Imperium. This bloom is only one of countless jibes. We will undo every one of his jests, brothers. The seeds lay ahead. Extract or destroy them. Very good. We're doing exactly that. We're doing both extracting and destroying. <clears throat> green seeds this time and we're close enough so that we could do all of it in one turn With me, my brothers. I am here to serve what is your will I like the runes because they do have destructible terrain. That's always a lot of uh, fun. Yes, come on. Good, I think this turn we're going to move in. So warp speed, Balmancy. Yes, Commander. As orders. Okay, perfect. That hasn't triggered yet. Standing ready. Yes, Commander. Um. That's my trigger. Indeed, he does. It is an enemy most worthy. Little suppression Prince here. Spotted. What is this stupid zone? Uh, takes no damage from autos. Five armor. Okay. All right. Um, Good. For starters, let's get the seat. Another foul seed claimed. What would happen?
That's a lot of damage that we're seeing here, and a pretty nasty combination. Good. Does enrage cancel anything with what they were doing before? The answer is no. to knockback is uh, indeed quite strong good if we're attacking that's just five points of damage We don't have uh, all of the crit damage yet, so the crit doesn't uh, do a whole lot. Where's the support fire? Did we skill support fire? Oh, we're not in range yet. Let's try this again. Nice, there is the crit. Armor break. For extra damage. The enemy is wounded. And wait a second. Why haven't we done that yet? Gain auto first strike. Any enemy who moves adjacent will suffer a melee attack. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. My blade is ever ready. We strive. Chance to crit, not high enough. I want to make sure. Now we're good. This is good enough. Oh no, it's not. I forgot. Um, and we don't have two. Hmm, that was bad. Okay, my bad. Yeah. We don't have two uh, reaction fires yet. to do that because we're almost uh, running out of time here. Armor breaks done. Let's get the shield off. The point is, we don't want to lose uh, this turn because we do have our um, stratagem going. Target 
Good, we're still having this stratagem. Yep. Okay, cool. At once. I am here to access your will. Click the target, loses one. We can't let that happen. There you go. Good, extra warp speed. Yes, Commander. So the way to here, we know. What is your will? Farewell, that uh, the enemies are right behind the door. Yes, Commander. At your command. Moving That'll switch. trigger, give us new actions. We didn't even need to teleport so far. Silver Knights! Prepare to engage! You come on! Good, that will trigger support fire. Ready to serve. What is your will? Okay, where are the other seats? There and there. Okay, if that's the case. Then, uh, stream of corruption, melee attacks, Nurgle's gift, or stun. Unfortunately, the flies still stay. No more blocking of our strikes. At your service. That's an auto kill. You are being judged.
That would be, hmm, yeah, not good enough. Uh, I think we're continuing to or charge overload you. Cut the arm off, cut the head off, the thing is still going. I think the crits should deal way more stun damage. Good. That puts us into a good uh, spot again. Everybody there. Filth unwanted. Securing position. Prepare to engage. Good. Starting here, who has the seats? It is you. Give me all of them. This is coming with me. Your orders. Your orders. Good. Um, this should deal a decent amount of damage. weapon goes fantastic that almost 100% crit chance is just absolutely great another falls to the knights of titan Let's go with continuous crits, because why not? Standing ready. Um, Put on your command. Uh, that armor that prevented long range from not dealing enough damage. Yeah, there we go. Um, we still got two more world points. Let's 
boost down. And more stun. Yeah, I think we're not getting him to the point where he's fully stunned. It would be great, but it's likely not going to happen. Nope. Four. Yes, Commander. Your command. Yeah, that's a kill. Death is our creed. Unfortunately, things are dying before anything happens. Do we have the purification thing? No, we have Quicksilver. If we were to shoot this and Psybolt, we'd go down to one. Rarely the last strike. We're regaining our actions and we're still in the same turn. Still in the same turn. Yep, there's still a 50% crit. Cool. Unleash me. My blade is ever ready. At once. We do have a bit of a problem here. Hmm. We plagued ourselves. That was not very clever.
Hmm, okay. I thought we would deal more damage. Unfortunate. Let's attract extract the last seats. However, I sense there are disturbances in the hall below. The tech priest will extract your brothers shortly. Do your best to keep them alive, will you? I claim the sea. This guy it goes boom. Then we follow up with a kill. He will rise. Another slash. We're doing well. Good. Ranged weapon. Gone. And uh, you get the AP finishing him. You get destroyed, Commander. Yeah. Oh. Bone destroyed, Commander. Cybold two kill. That's the I actual end of the first turn. <laughs> Hail a school over there. Extracts them. That's great. We have purified ourselves. Yes, Commander. 
Uh, I think we still have to crit warp speed, yeah. Warp charge. One. Two. And uh, three. Good hits. We're not uh, standing too clumped up. Plagued. Might as well go there. Wow. This guy just took three attacks of opportunity to move away. Good, Librarian needs experience, so Librarian will get the kill. There we go. Destroyed, Commander. And... I think we're done here. I don't see anything else. It's time. And turn done. Shadow protect. <laughs> Secure in position. Recovery sequence oh. initiating. Good job. Good job. The autoloader didn't come in so well, so although it's a great school, it may change to the disruptor uh, disruptor again. Autoloader seems to be better in ranged parties. Purifier? Hmm. Hmm. So wait, that purifier is a new class that was one of the ones that I haven't taken. And it's a rank 5 purifier. I think we're going to take that. Vegetation school. Purge 100%. Also afflicts burning. That's a nice option against certain 
mutations. And then we got the final justice. Four damage. Uh, the weapon has plus four crit damage. Uh, good crit chance. And when unit crits with melee attack, has a chance to gain AP. Hmm. I mean, it is a big fat warhammer, for sure. And for someone who uses a lot of four strikes, it's not a bad weapon. It's not a bad weapon at all. It gets plus four crit damage upgrade, which is quite significant and has a pretty sizable crit chance as well. So that is all good, which means we're really looking at of, more often than not uh, eight points of uh, damage. And whenever uh, the unit crits, there's also a chance to get an AP. I like the idea of it. Might as well collect level f um, the high level gear now. So having that hammer isn't the worst. Two uses and that deals four points of damage now. Good, Librarian. We got all of the good stuff. We got enough uh, will points. And I still want to go down to price of power. I think that's good. I, I truly believe this year is going to be great because uh, it'll give us the chance to get willpower back. The other option, of course, would be to just go up here into crit damage, higher crit damage. When shot by an enemy, he has a chance to return fire. That is not bad either. Um, I mean, three additional crit damage and the ability to arm more peers is nothing to scoff at. This here is good. And the unlimited range is also great. And it is a psychic attack, which means it should trigger warp charge. Now I'll, sti I'll, I'll stick with my original plan. I want uh, price of power, it's just one more level and then we're at price of power. And the psychic shriek is not bad either. If you can put three stun on a target for two willpower, that's not bad at all. Let alone five stun for three willpower. So might as well take that for now. This of course with our bolter is absolutely ludicrous because our bolter already deals a lot of extra crit damage and this here would be three additional points of damage that's that, that's high numbers like we're talking 10 11 points of damage and if we can bypass armor 
that's not bad. And it's always armor piercing. I don't know, don't get me tempted here. We're sticking with the original plan. Got that nice little hammer. And I have to wonder. I mean, Dan has Demon Bane, which in itself is great. And now we got a purifier. Ilias, we will give you a new name, but let's just double check the abilities. I'll do that real quick and give you a summary. All right, let's uh, continue. So we got our purifier. And the purifier is an interesting class. I wanted to give you a break down of uh, his abilities. It's very similar to the Purgator, but more flamethrower oriented and a bit better in some aspects, a bit different than others. So it has one specific uh, uh, slot or aisle for grenades, even better than what the uh, Purgator has. It does not have really long range weapons, but it has a slot for incinerators, which I'm interested in trying out specifically the the vengeance uh, vengeance one uh, if you kill uh, a lot of enemies you gain an ap automatically then it does have astral aim i don't know how that's supposed to work together um, with the flamethrower that for me is unclear but okay we're going to see um, it, it says here that you can precision target 100% crit and then you can destroy body parts. Let's see if that actually works, but the range is limited. Um, then down here you do have Flames of Purity, which is basically un un unloading the entire flamethrower in one go and then uh, blinding enemies permanently. Uh, neat, but I would say niche. Then up here we have Cleansing Fire, which really focuses around uh, Perch. And on top of uh, that, permanent uh, or three three turns burning, which I think is neat as well. So it's a long ranged ability. Range 10 is just as much as the normal, um, as the normal range uh, would be for Bolters. And it only costs one will point so that's actually a neat ability but it kind of comes back to the bleeding uh, stuff oftentimes damage over time is not as effective and then you do have the whole melee weapon thing here which i found interesting someone comes adjacent uh, to you you automatically deal damage and then here uh, you do have unstoppable conflation uh, when using a psychic ability, you kind of stack up damage um, until the next turn, up to three times. And uh, you build up additional re uh, resistances. So uh, this is 10 resistance, 25 resistance. Here's another 25 resistance. So that class seems to be like highly, highly resistant. And Hammer uh, Hand is again auto crit. So I don't, um, I don't know how this class here solves mobility issues um, it looks great but it would look even better if it had kind of a teleport which brings me to a common theme i believe more of the damage dealer or short range characters need some sort of teleport or jump or at least kind of a an, an ability to uh, get uh, somewhere faster um, no idea if this class is any good, but I gave it a flamer and it does have two different grenades and we're definitely going to te uh, test it out. Uh, maybe not immediately, but we are going to test it out. 
because I mentioned that I want to test a few other builds as well. So far we have found generally what works. And I think once the librarian is up to level nine, then we can test a couple of other builds. He has returned from his solitary mission with glorious results. It seems there was a plague surgeon developing a novel method of spore dispersal. Our brother eliminated his cult before sending his soul to eternal New talent, Eagle Eye. I can see. All right, and we got Dominate as research. That's fantastic, which brings me to... Can we... No, we cannot yet uh, research that. We want an additional stratagem slot. Therefore, start moving into this direction. So Zoe has a new talent. Sabers. And what does that mean? Eagle Eye. Oh, 10% crit for all ranged weapons. That is absolutely brutal. Love it. Oh, that is so good. Well, that is really good. Good, let's advance time a little bit further. And we got another Grandmaster's report. Commander, though I am concerned, with how rapidly I see this bloom is spreading, your demands of Titan's armory have been growing dramatically. The commander of a Grey Knight strike force must exercise self-discipline in the sacrament of battle. Have you been truly adhering to the virtues demanded of your station? Hmm. Undertake uh, Ritual of Penance. Even a veteran captain would be reluctant to sacrifice his best warriors in the midst of an active campaign. I eagerly await the results. Of course, now that he finally acknowledges the threat, he recants his support. Thoroughly sensible. Ascent. Results require resources. Outcomes are not achieved through aspiration alone. <laughs> the plight we contend with here is matched by unspeakable horrors our brothers face elsewhere across the galaxy. The gifts the Emperor has given us are mighty, so we consider it a virtue to achieve heroic deeds with the barest of arms. Do not forget this, Commander. Chaos does not fight with one hand tied behind its back. Good. Um, upgrading weapons further. Cool. So, who's gone? Level, wow, 60 days, level 9 characters. But that's okay. Maybe they come back with absolutely cool new abilities. Zoe already got a fantastic new ability. So might as well get another one. Good. We got High Sanctuary as the next uh, stratagem. That is all knights gain three armor for five turns. That's actually not a bad uh, stratagem whatsoever. Hull has been restored to the max and we're up to nine servitors. Well,
Yeah, well... <laughs> I don't want gun batteries. Although, I don't want a defect chip either. Good, finally, new bloom. We do have requisition here. Uh, that one we need to take. And then we got that one over here. So if we fly to here. Hmm. Do you think that we can get from here to here? Is that sensible? I don't know. Is is there a way to find out? This thing here is only 10 days and here we have 14 days. So if I was to fly to here, could I make it back? I could barely reach it by flying directly. So it's out of question to fly here and then fly there. So we need to fly directly. I don't... Warning, unstable warp manifestation imminent. Plotting alternative course. That route will delay us substantially, Commander. Driving directly through this storm would be folly, even if the ship were fully repaired. We need not strike forward blindly. There are null pockets even within the warp. There is an ancient text in the Libras that could help guide us through. Commander, this is a hazardous path, the Inquisitor suggests. Even our Grand Masters do not... No, nope, cannot do that. Releasing navigation authority to the Inquisitor. Embarking on a new course through the storm. Update. The Geller field has sustained minimal damage. The Edict has passed the storm safely. What did I tell you, Hector? If you'll excuse me, I must go recuperate. All right, what's up here, by the way? One of those situations where, again, you can't really win. Good, we would uh, create like what? Corruption level two? Let's just double check. interesting three bloom that is crazy but we would get minus one corruption so it's down to one essentially uh win mission without grant master crafted armor we can try to do that but first, let's see what we're, uh, whom we're dealing with. I think we're just going to take that team. It's level five, it works very well. And the stratagems seem to be completely closed. That's unfortunate. Everybody just goes in with base armor. I think there are worse options. Oh, 
Okay, and that reloader skull. Great idea, but I think I'll focus on the disruptor skull instead. And that would give us three requisition plus a grimoire, which helps us with uh, the current research, which is at 700%. And if we play our cards right, which we should, we will get Dolores Seed and that will allow us to progress even further. Cool. That's it for today. Uh, we are done. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.